so it happened once again. I was traveling around the world making cool stuff. I was on a roll. My YouTube channel was up and running again, but then it happened again. I got trapped by Los Angeles, California. Look, my plan was to stay for two weeks, get a little refresher, say hi to some friends, but then I kept extending again and again to the point of completely losing myself once again. I got an email from this dude named Max Reisinger. My flight for New York. I guess he's kind of a travel YouTuber. I hadn't really heard of him, but the email was all like, hey man, do you want to come to Italy? This company Thatch will sponsor our trip. And I was all like, sure man, I'm literally sitting in LA doing absolutely nothing. Maybe I need a push to get out the door again. So I quickly accepted the offer, flew to Italy, and here I am now. Ah. I just landed in Milan, Italy. I'm currently waiting for my friend to pick me up from the airport. Actually, I wouldn't even go as far to say that he's a friend. We've never actually met. We talked briefly on the phone last week to plan logistically this trip, but I've, I've never met the guy. Hey. Hey, man. You ready? Nice to meet you. She's bigger than we expected. Yeah, but like when you're in Italy, go big or go home. Okay. Holy mackerel! The goal of the trip was to create a thatch guide for Italy's less touristy cities. Thatch is an app that allows travelers to create and publish travel guides of different destinations around the world. There's already so many guides that focus on Italy, but what we really wanted to do was to create one of our own. This is a full-on camper. And I was excited. This was my first trip in months. We had a big camper van. We were driving through Italy. In my mind, I thought this was immediately going to cure my depression and give me a brand new perspective. But as we were driving through the most beautiful streets of Italy, I had a crazy realization. I wasn't feeling anything. I don't know. I feel like I forgot how to be a YouTuber and, and traveler again. I picked up my camera, but I, I didn't know what angle I was supposed to film this thing. And to make matters worse, all my footage was completely overexposed. It's a brand new camera, okay, I'm still, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. We are headed to Lake Como. You can look around and acknowledge that something is beautiful, but if you don't feel it, it's kind of meaningless. I've fallen into this mindset and felt this emotion a lot recently. It's a new feeling of numbness. I feel like I've kind of lost my vision and voice. Like, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a creator, but what do I really have to say? I wanted to over... <sighs> so the next morning, I tried desperately to get out of my head. You know, I tried to force some gratitude, focus on my breathing, and I was pretty transparent to Max about what I was feeling, what I was going through. It's, it's heavy. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. He actually suggested that I jump into the cold lake. I mean, you'll feel great. Okay, I'm down. I mean you sold it, and without much contemplation, I gave it a go. I don't know what it is, to be honest, man. Jet lag fatigue? Oh, it could be. It could very well be jet lag. Let's just blame jet lag. Let's just blame jet lag. So we started this road trip without any like set plan of where to go. I don't really know where to stay. I think the idea is to kind of just choose randomly. I decided on Aronzo. We'll see what we, we'll find there. Should be good. This is our little village. This is where we're staying. Wow. The town was beautiful. It seemed like one of those places that would be completely stuffed with tourists, but Max and I were the only ones there. And the mountains. These are the Alps, all right. The beautiful Dolomite Mountains. I immediately knew what I wanted. Max, I think we need to go to a bar and meet some people. So we're now in a bar and we're trying to get involved with the locals. Let's see what's up here. What is your name? Alessia. Alex. What is your favorite part of this town? Uh, the mountains. The mountains. Nothing. <laughs> Everyone was pretty confused as to what we were doing there in the first place. I guess this village doesn't really see tourists. People drive through it, but no one thinks to actually stop there. Everyone knew everyone, and one thing was for sure, these guys liked to party. Party! <laughs> Uh, we have no idea where we're going, but we're going! I'm surrendering to the experience. Whatever happens, happens. It's great. What is this? A party? A party party for You know, I'm not sure if it's because I'm a little bit more extroverted, and I won't negate the fact that I did have a couple drinks, but being with these people really helped me. When I'm in negative moods, oftentimes the last thing I want to do is be with people. But more common than not, it's exactly what I need. And it kind of reminded me why I love to travel in the first place. No, not getting drunk, but the people, the energy to connect with people. <laughs> you gotta say goodbye to the mountains. Ciao. And that reminder was exactly what I needed to start getting out of my head. Dude, this is great. I know. Good morning. 
So this morning we're trying to discover the beach life here in Italy. What is life like there? How are we gonna find a beach here in Italy? Gotta go down south. Let's go down south. After having a fresh perspective from the night before, I was feeling pretty good that day. So we made our way to the south and the ride was beautiful. Woo! Nothing to be stressed about no, in Italy. No stress, look at this, look at this. Come on. But everything was about to be tested. <laughs> See, what we didn't know is that the roads in the southern coast are very, very thin. <laughs> so scary. Warning, if you come to Italy, never ever drive a giant camper van down the southern coast. Oh. <gasps> oh. I don't know what to do. That's supposed to be like that. We've gotten ourselves locked in these windy roads. What do we do? Do <laughs> all of this? Oh. oh. <laughs> no. We hit the wall not twice. Not three times, but four separate times. But I have to give it to Max. I don't know how he did it, but we got out of there and we survived. Where are we going? To the beach. Okay, you ready to touch the water? We've come a long ways for this. Oh, we did it. Even though we had just met a few days prior, Max was teaching me a valuable lesson. I don't think I've ever been with somebody in my entire life who handles stress so well. It's kind of crazy how answers come to you when you're willing to listen. I've been so stressed about my life, so caught up recently. It was the perspective that I needed. You, you took the wheel and you did it all and, you know, there might be a few dings, there might be a few scratches, just but like, few. no one got hurt. And here we are in the most beautiful part of Italy, this parking lot. Apparently this region is known for its beautiful landscapes of farmlands. I think that might be a good option for us to go. The next goal of the trip was to stay on a farm. We DM'd people on Instagram, we looked online, but it's hard getting in contact with a farmer. So we did some exploring on Thatch and we found an American who made a guide about the countryside of Italy. We got in contact with her. That would be absolutely amazing. Drove all the way to her house. Please. Nice to meet you, Luke. Luke, nice to meet you. And turns out she knows an Italian farmer who is interested in meeting us. Oh, how did this happen? Thatch? <laughs> Hello. Ciao. 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 Roberto? This is Roberto. Amazing. And this is his wife, Sonia. Ciao. He was a true Italian farmer whose passion for his work was evident. <laughs> it got me thinking about this lifestyle and how it's so different to the city life that I've become so used to. What do you feel about city life? You're very happy here. Very happy. Thank you so much. Uh, these are like the moments about traveling and being spontaneous that make me actually like emotional. Oh, cheers. Yeah. I was thinking of going back to LA after this, but I think everything is telling me to stay on the road. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of a confusing phase of my life and my career right now, I'll admit it. In the span of my decade-long career of making videos, I've never felt more confused. This is why I always travel with cat treats, right? But you know, this week has taught me that everything is okay. I guess I'm kind of dedicating this next chapter of my life to figuring it out. And you know, I guess I don't even know what figuring it out entails, but I feel like I have something to say, and I'm on the mission to find my voice again to say it. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna live out of my suitcase for some more time. I'm gonna keep exploring, I'm gonna keep meeting people, and I'm gonna figure it out. So Max, we had this goal to stay on the farm. We did it! We made it happen, and it is spectacular. Everything I hoped for and more. To download Max and my guide for Italy, please check the link in the description to download Thatch. Thank you.